When we eat the bread and drink the cup of wine, we believe that Christ in us is our hope of glory. Peace and blessings. This is Father Paulo for IEC 2016. Bright skies finally greeted the almost 14,000 pilgrims who gathered at the IEC Pavilion for the sixth day of the 51st International Eucharistic Congress. Psalms of praise filled the halls of the IEC Pavilion as Bishop Reynaldo Evangelista led the morning prayers. The Bishop of Imus reflected on the Apostle Paul's proclamation of God's grace that strengthened and sustained him in spite of his limitations and weaknesses. Bishop Evangelista addressed the pilgrims because it is frightening to discover and own up our own fragility and vulnerability. We should not fear, brothers and sisters, because Jesus manifests in our weakness His power and strength. That it is only in our state of greatest weakness that we realize how amazingly gracious and powerful God truly is. In his catechesis on the Eucharist, Dialogue with the Poor and the Suffering, Cardinal John Onayekan of Nigeria pointed out that poverty is due to human failure, injustice, and greed. The Eucharist then stresses the need for sharing among God's children, starting from those in the Church. Cardinal Onayekan noted on the importance of Christian witness to the discriminated. He said, How many Catholics celebrate the Eucharist together in the Church? file to the altar to receive communion and yet out into the world they do not look at each other as brothers and sisters celebrating his birthday cardinal onayekan was greeted with a song by the assembly and was given a cake the bayhana a trio of Cebuana singers then serenaded the celebrant in her heart-rending testimony of faith and acceptance georgia of Coctas, a former street child now devoted social worker moved the crowd to tears, inspired and challenged pilgrims in their Eucharistic commitment. She posed the question, Can we turn our parishes into child-friendly parishes? Our churches are the closest place that they could see God. But they can also be the closest place where our children can, say, can see their dreams. Meanwhile, the Sacrament of Confession, a Eucharistic Adoration, and a General Assembly of the World Federation of the Eucharistic Works of the Church were held. Cardinal Oswald Grafias could not attend the Congress. Archbishop Dominic Halle delivered the talk on the Eucharist in the Church's Dialogue with Religions. Cardinal Grafias wrote, There is no alternative to dialogue as about 95% of the population in Asia are followers of other religions. It is our ardent hope and fervent prayer that the Eucharist continues to be the sign, symbol, and source of the Church's steadfast commitment to interreligious dialogue. Cardinal Grafias reminded that partners in dialogue must have a strong conviction of faith, a receptive mind, and profound respect for the diversity of beliefs. A press conference was held in the afternoon. In attendance were uh, Archbishop conference. Jose Palma, Strong. Bishop Milo Vergara, uh, Marianne Servas, Georgia Cogtas, and Mary Sarindorn. Servas, who gave a testimony on the second day of the Congress, was asked the question about what the Western world could learn from the Filipinos. She said, In the West, we have become less human. And a lot of that has to do with joy, trust in life itself and openness you do have as filipinos an incredible sense of joy but it's a joy that is linked to thankfulness and to humility it's real joy it's not an artificial happiness and it's very present because joy is more foundational to being human than suffering Bishop Vergara used the acronym HOPE as take-home message from the Congress. What we are called to bring home. Letter H, humble hearts. If you try to look at it, we were humbled by the sharings of the speakers, all those who gave their testimonies, 
those in the panel today, they humbled us because we realized our limitations, our weaknesses, even our sinfulness, our own pride, that we have to be stripped of our self-centeredness to be more other-centered. Letter O, if there is something we have to bring home and it is a challenge to mission, it is outreach to the poor and suffering. It is really a call for us. We heard their stories. So what should we do? We should go to the margins, to the peripheries. And then of course, letter P, we cannot do without this. We have to pray the Eucharist more sincerely and more devoutly. And this prayer should be led to action. Finally, letter E. E means being empowered now by God's love. We are empowered by Jesus. We are empowered by the Lord to be bread broken and shared. Look at the word hope. That is actually the theme. Death track sessions were organized in the afternoon. Presiding the Mass in the afternoon at the Cebu Capitol building was Archbishop Jarmuin Martin of Dublin. Dublin, Ireland hosted the 50th International Eucharistic Congress. After the Mass, pilgrims joined the Eucharistic procession from Cebu Capitol building to the Plaza Independencia. Pilgrims will grace the presence of Cardinal Timothy Dolan of New York, who will share on the Eucharist and Mary. Death track sessions will follow and will be facilitated by Fathers Cyril Axelrod and Ralph Schmitz on eye people, including deaf persons with disabilities. Father Matthew Hissel and Stephanie Offier on deaf Catholics, leaders, and teachers. And Fathers Charlie Dittmere and Mincio Park on deaf ministry, Southeast Asia. Cardinal Ricardo Vidal of Cebu will preside over the Mass tomorrow at the Cebu City Sports Center. It will be followed by a Sinulog presentation. You may follow us on our social media accounts. This has been Father Paulo Esprer of the Society of St. Paul for IEC 2016. Gave strength to our hearts and made us shine with glee when we eat the bread and drink the cup of wine. We believe that Christ in us is our hope of glory.